sir. Please read that again. Okay, sir. Uh, employed at XYZ Bank, you embarked on the task to collect a substantial amount of cash from another branch for the purpose of refilling your branch's ATM. While returning with the cash in a taxi, you encountered a distressing scene. An individual had been involved in a severe accident and lay injured on the road. In this critical moment, no one else was present to offer assistance. And your bank's policy prohibits making stops during the transportation of cash. Faced with this dilemma, how do you intend to handle the situation? Please tell. Um, in this scenario, I would, I would prioritize the safety of the cash in line with the bank policy. Um, as my primary responsibility, I would immediately contact emergency services um, to report to the accident uh, and ensure help is on the way. Uh, while continuing to transport the cash securely to the uh, branch or to the destination, this allows me to fulfill my duty while ensuring the injured person uh, receives timely assistance. Thank you. Good. Very good. You told nicely. Amsala Jai Nagendra. Yes, Thank you, sir. Yeah. Amsala Jai Nagendra. Am I uh, audible, sir? Please speak. In this situation, uh, first, I will try to I will try to uh, do my duty first, sir. In this situation, I will put the bank with my cash and I will try to call the emergency ambulance to in this accident situation. Please speak loudly. Your voice is not heard. In this situation, I will speak loudly. In this situation, first I will try to do my work as I have to safely move transfer the cash to the our ATM. And in this situation, I, I will try to call the emergency service to take over the accident person. I think your internet is not all right. Yeah, next person, Venu, you please answer. Venu. Yes, sir. Thank you, Venu. sir, for giving the opportunity. Uh, as a bank manager, I would uh, first of all ensure the security of the cash and I will uh, take the cash van along with him. I will go with the cash van to the desired location where I have to put the cash into the ATMs. On the way, I will request uh, persons to, and I myself will try to contact emergency services, giving them the location of the accident so that they might uh, reach as possible, as, fa as fast as possible. And uh, I will tell few people to, to do so so that they would get a pressure to reach there as fast as possible good thank you seva darini good evening yeah seva darini uh, thank you for this opportunity yes, sir can you hear me yeah hello please speak 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 yes sir yes sir good evening so uh, when we talk about the situation i my approach would be balancing so it is like ethical responsibility for us, like for a professional as well as in kind of emergency, right? So, however, it is like a kind of as a responsible citizen, I will I would take like kind of moral obligation to assist someone when it is a life-threatening situation cannot be ignored, right? So what I would do, it's like my approach would be balanced and it would involve quick, first of all, I would do quick assessing the situation. If there are any emergency, I mean, immediate actions I could able to take without compromising the cash, such as calling emergency services or some kind of directing someone to do something, uh, I, I, I'll definitely help. If possible, like I might ask uh, my taxi driver to alert authority, authorities while or a kind of uh, while maintaining the uh, cash also. So the goal is to ensure both safety and the cash. So I will take a balancing approach, sir. You are rather confused and your statements are not very clear. The, see, you the, the you say you want to give preference to the accident person, which is not, which is wrong. 
you are now an employee of the bank having the cash on hand. It is your duty and responsibility to keep it inside the ATM and uh, later on think about it. You can ask me, supposing as a cashier of a bank, if I am going to be in a precarious position, what will happen? Then you are not responsible. It is how the things will shape that will be decided by the nature. Whereas okay. where you are an employee of the bank, as rightly told by two, three others earlier, you have to go along with the cash, load the cash in the ATM. In the meantime, while traveling, you can call your branch to tell the emergency or you can call emergency directly, leave message and go. That is all you can do under these circumstances. Beyond that, you cannot get down from the card. You cannot see what is the necessity of the treatment to be given to him. All those things are not within our purview. Do you follow? Okay. The last girl who talked, okay. could you follow? Your delivery yes, was good, but content was wrong. Delivery, okay, so you may be selected, but um, the content was wrong. I wanted to correct okay. you. Very good. Okay. So, so that much for question number 62. We are moving on to question number 63. Mr. Karthik, please read question number 63. Okay, so thank you for giving this opportunity. Uh, though, in the, though Indian population has crossed 140 crores, um, we are still not the best performing countries in the world. We discuss way by which improvements can be made in the social, sorry, school education structure, promoting sports, so that India would be able to win more medals at Olympics. Yeah, this, so this is the topic. So please... Yeah. Uh, speak on this topic. Okay. Uh, from my point of view, uh, I will tell some strategies to enhance the school education structure to promote sports and help India to win more medals. First, I, we have to integrate our sports into curriculum, span rate one, and uh, we have to develop sports infrastructure. Ensures that school also having sports facilities, playgrounds, and other equipments for uh, playing. Then we have to identify the talent and we have to uh, train and support the students through coaches. And we have to promote sports culture in the school environment. Okay. Akash. Akash. Hello, everyone. Please speak loudly. Hello everyone, in this particular situation, even though we have 140 crore population, still we are not winning enough medal. This is because our school curriculum is basically tilted towards more on more and more focusing on the education part and not giving enough time to the sports participation. Also, the awareness among parents is also low. So Companies should be encouraged to run CSR activities, uh, which will promote which will promote awareness about uh, giving giving uh, awareness to for the parents so that they can be so then they admit more and more children to the sports activities. Also, government should provide more and more facilities to the schools so that they can uh, provide their students with best of the facilities to get trained for the sports they want to play. In this way, we will be able to significantly enhance the participation of our school children in sports and will stop, definitely stop, stop, improve our stop, tally. Stop, stop, you are rather stop. Very, you are rather very slow. And you are dragging on the same point for a longer time. Please be aware of that. We will go to Vidushi Pandey. Vidushi Pandey. Vidushi Pandey. Sir, may I? Uh, next person. Vidushi uh, Pandey. Are you not able to hear me? Okay. Then Prasanna. Yes, sir. 
speak uh, so uh, even though indian population is increasing the main reason he, uh, here is uh, in schools uh, mostly uh, the, uh, the more emphasis is not given on Olymp uh, on sports the major reason is uh, our education is mostly academically oriented so uh, first of all uh, the uh, first of all we must uh, in include sports activities and also we must make make compulsory at least one hour a period uh, a sports period and also parents must be uh, given some uh, guidance about uh, like permitting their children uh, to uh, uh, like uh, to pursue sports and uh, one more thing is some sponsorships or scholarships can be given to so, uh, some students who are uh, like uh, performing well in sports and teachers must identify the uh, students who are performing in specific sports and encourage them uh, so that they can uh, perform better. Then somebody wanted to speak, some boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bhushan, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, improve, improving India's performance in the Olympics through en enhancement in the school education structures involve a multifaceted approach to promoting sports at the grassroots level. I will integrate sports into the curriculum. Uh, I will promote early talent identification. I will provide uh, quality coaching. I will improve infrastructure and facilities. I will encourage parental and community support. Uh, I will incentivize sport achievements. This is all from my side, sir. Your comment on yours is that you are talking, I will, I will, I will, I will, six times, I will in one minute. So please avoid using same expressions again and again. Yes, sir. Yeah. May I speak? Yes. Sir, may I? Sir, may I? I, want to... no, I know may everybody I speak, wants sir? to. Yeah. Who's... Uh, uh, so, my point is that uh, there are various ways which by which improvements can be made in the school education. First of all, is to promote the extracurricular activities and uh, treat sports as a subject, not just as a fun. So, for this, a uh, mark should be given. So, to promote the sports culture in the school. Dedicated hours every day for sports related activities should be provided in every school and to organize sport events, competitions, time to time. And yeah. the main thing is, which I believe is that to connect the schools with the local sports body uh, so that to provide the youth to get on the higher stages and promote the talented youths from every corner of the uh, India. Thank you so much. Sir, I would like to add a point. No, no, sufficient. Now, uh, no, stop, stop, stop. See, this is a point, you know, where um, what is told is like this. See, we be, uh, the sports must be given importance in your in the school curriculum or college curriculum. And excess credit should be given for this. And there should be reservation in jobs for such people who are come, doing very well in sports. And um, uh, the facility for transportation of uh, um, students to various places, wherever required, must be arranged. And college or school must be able to arrange, uh, say, good coaches who are really showing interest in the development of their students. And encouragement should be given for sports and studies at the same level instead of studies being given more importance. And companies should also encourage taking more of sportsmen so that more and students will be participating in sports. Very good. Next point is question is question number 64. Has it been discussed earlier? I don't know. Mm, we will go May for I, first. Pramod. Can I initiate? Okay. We, uh, the asking? trend of digital banking. Uh, first of all, I will read the question for everyone. Yeah, Pramod, the read and also answer. Banking. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes. Sir. Thank you. Sir. The trend of digital banking is gaining momentum, particularly among the younger demographic. Nevertheless, uh, there exists a, a segment of society that remains uneasy with the concept of digital banking, necessitating substantial efforts to facilitate their transition to mm. 